It's good to be with you. Welcome to Class Outside. Today, we're going to learn how to transfer a Blender scene to 3JS using the 3JS editor. Working with a familiar interface like Blender can speed up the time to set up a scene. How scenes are visually displayed changes across platforms. Blender, 3JS, game engines, and more all use different rendering software for their scenes. Viewing a scene in the 3JS editor lets us verify the scene's appearance with the WebGL renderer, the renderer 3JS uses, and it gives us time to make any changes before importing this scene into our code. To do this, we'll need the 3D modeling software tool Blender, we'll need a 3D model, I will be using this model, Resto Niteo by Low Polyboy on Sketchfab. We'll need the 3JS editor. This is a free website maintained as part of the open source 3JS project. We'll also need a JavaScript project using 3JS to verify our final results. I'll be using this project. A link to the GitHub page can be found in the description. A package manager is also needed to install the project's dependencies. I will be using Node Package Manager or NPM for this. Finally, we'll need a local server setup to host this 3JS project. I will be using a Node.js and Express.js project. A video walking through this setup is linked down in the description. First, download any 3D models for your project. For file type, I often select GLB. Then, open Blender and import your model. Adjust the scene to your liking. I will do so by adding a camera and some lights. Changing the camera's name will make it easier to find in the 3JS editor. After adding some lights, we can adjust the intensity until the room looks satisfactory. This is what it looks like using the Blender Cycles renderer. Now, time to export your scene. For this example, the scene will be exported as a .glTF. If you intend to use the camera and lights, make sure the checkboxes are selected in Blender's Include dropdown. Now, click Export. In your web browser, navigate to 3JS.org forward slash editor. Click File and then Import. Select your file. You should see it appear in the viewport in the scene editor. If the lighting is no longer acceptable, you may modify it by selecting the light and adjusting the intensity. Remember, different renderers may cause scenes to appear visually different when given the same values. We may also check that the camera's position is still satisfactory. In the camera dropdown, select the incoming camera from the Blender scene. Once everything appears satisfactory, click File and Export as your desired file type. In this walkthrough, the scene is exported as a GLT app. Now, to prepare the 3JS project that will showcase the scene. A project for demonstration is available in the description. Download this from GitHub and open it with a code editor like VS Code. You will need to install the necessary dependencies for this project. This can be done with NPM Node Package Manager by opening a terminal window navigating to the same directory as the package.json file and running the command npm install. In File Explorer, move the scene's gltf file to the public models directory of the project. Navigate to the modelhelper.js file. It's located under public source helpers. Make sure the scene path is the correct path for your scene file. Let's quickly go over what the project is doing with this model. In main.js, we see that it first sets up the renderer, the tool necessary to visualize the scene. Just like how renderers may vary across platforms, renderer configurations may vary within a platform. A renderer's configuration is similar to how filters on a phone work. When the settings are tweaked, the way things look will likely be tweaked too. For the code's renderer, to match what we saw in the 3JS editor, both renderer configurations must match. The current default renderer settings are provided here. If these settings or any others which affect the entire scene are changed in the 3JS editor, these rendering settings will need to be updated to reflect those modifications. Next, we load the GLTF scene. Here, all the models, materials, lights, and cameras are loaded into the scene variable. When that operation completes, the retrieve list of cameras function runs. This takes note of all the scene's cameras. This scene only has one. The camera is set as the first camera in the scene's list of cameras. The aspect ratio is then updated to match the current browser window. The scene is rendered. Let's run this in the terminal using the command node app.js. In a web browser, go to localhost and the port number it is running on. Look at that. Together, we have transferred a Blender scene to 3JS using the 3JS editor. Please let me know down in the comments what you thought of this video. Have a great day and thank you for attending class outside.